Hello Year 2, it's Miss White here. I'm going to read you part of The Owl Who Was Afraid of the Dark and that's going to help you this morning to answer your comprehension questions. So if you just read along with me. Chapter 1. Dark is exciting. Plop was a baby barn owl and he lived with his mummy and daddy at the top of a very tall tree in a field. Plop was fat and fluffy. He had a beautiful heart-shaped ruff. He had enormous round eyes. He had very knackety knees. In fact, he was exactly the same as every baby barn owl that has ever been, except for one thing. Plop was afraid of the dark. You can't be afraid of the dark, said his mummy. Owls are never afraid of the dark. This one is, Plop said. But owls are night birds, she said. Plop looked down at his toes. I don't want to be a night bird, he mumbled. I want to be a day bird. You are what you are, said Mrs Barn Owl firmly. Yes, I know, agreed Plop, and what I are is afraid of the dark. Oh dear, said Mrs Barn Owl. It was clear that she was going to need a lot of patience. She shut her eyes and tried to think how best she could help Plop not to be afraid. Plop waited. His mother opened her eyes again. Plop. You are only afraid of the dark because you don't know about it. What do you know about the dark? Oh, it's black, said Plop. Well, that's wrong for a start. It can be silver or blue or grey or lots of other colours, but almost never black. What else do you know about it? I don't like it, said Plop. I do not like it at all. That's not knowing something, said his mother. That's feeling something. I don't think you know anything about the dark at all. Dark is nasty, Plop said loudly. You don't know that. You've never had your beak outside the nest hole after dusk. I think you would better go down into the world and find out a lot more about the dark before you make up your mind about it. Now, said Plop. Now, said his mother. Plop climbed out of the nest hole and wobbled along the branch outside. He peeped over the edge. The world seemed to be a very long way down. I'm not a very good lander, he said. I might spill myself. Your landing will improve with practice, said his mother. Look, there's a little boy down there on the edge of the wood collecting sticks. Go and talk to him about it. Now, said Plop. Now, said his mother. So Plop shut his eyes, took a deep breath and fell off his branch. His small white wings carried him down, but, as he said, he was not a good lander. He did seven very fast somersaults past the little boy. Oh, cried the little boy, a giant Catherine wheel. Actually, said the Catherine wheel, picking himself up, I'm a bar now. Oh yes, so you are, said the little boy with obvious disappointment. Of course, you couldn't be a firework yet. Dad says we can't have fireworks until it gets dark. Oh, I wish it would hurry up and get dark soon. You want it to get dark, said Plop in amazement. Oh yes, said the little boy, dark is exciting and tonight is specially exciting because we're going to have fireworks. What are fireworks? asked Plop. I don't think owls have them, not barn owls anyway. Don't you? said the little boy. Oh, you poor thing. Well, there are rockets and flying saucers and volcanoes and golden rain and sparkles and... But what are they? begged Plop. Do you eat them? No, laughed the little boy. Daddy sets fire to their tails and they whoosh into the air and fill the sky with coloured stars. Well, the rockets, that is. I'm allowed to hold the sparklers. What about the volcanoes and the golden rain? What do they do? Oh, they sort of burst into showers of stars. The golden rain pours, well, like rain. And the flying saucers? Oh, they're super. They whiz round your head and make a wee noise. I like them best. I think I would like fireworks, said Plop. I'm sure you would, said the little boy. Look here, where do you live? Up in that tree in the top flat, there are squirrels further down. That big tree in the middle of the field? Well, you can watch our fireworks from there. That's our garden, the one with the swing. You look out as soon as it gets dark. Does it have to be dark, asked Plop. And I'm going to stop reading there. What I have read should be able to answer the comprehension questions and then feel free to read on and read the rest of the chapter. And we look forward to seeing your answers and all of your work today. Bye, you two.